In this clip, we're going to be talking about grade. Okay, so let's go ahead and add a grade node. I'll just hit tab and type in grade and we'll add that. I'm gonna be adding it between the merge and the grain. And then let's just view there at the very end with the grain so we can kind of just see it all together. Now, whenever you are adding this type of thing, um, you're going to be considering a few different things. So sometimes you're gonna use a grade to actually match one footage element to another. So matching the black and white points. So let's say, you know, the, this footage here, the background plate had some really orangey looking blacks and our CG element didn't. We could change the orangey blacks to more, more true blacks and then it would match better with our, our CG element. Or you may correct the CG to match the orangey blacks. It's kind of whichever you prefer. It's better to kind of get everything to a neutral point where you're kind of all on the same page. And then if you want to have a more creative grade there at the end, that's what we're doing now. So you'll see a lot of directors use creative grades to make things feel more, uh, you know, want a feeling that they want to evoke. So if I come in here and let's, let's hit this little uh, color sliders for our, our black point, and I can start to push that, just like I was saying, I can make the blacks a little more yellow, a little more golden, or I can make it feel a lot more cool. And you can see how, you know, this kind of changes the shot maybe to feel a little more on the ominous. It's more cold now. Um, whereas if I'm going more on the warm side, it definitely is going to make the robot feel a little less ominous, maybe a little more friendly. Then you can, you know, sometimes you might see some weird things where you've got a little bit more uh, red or green. Um, and most of the time, they're not really playing around with those in particular. Most of the time, you're going to see it uh, with these two here. Most of the time it's going to be orange and blue that's being played with. So one another way you can do this, if you kind of want a little bit of both, you could make your blacks a little more on the yellow side, which is kind of uh, what I like to do. And then you could take your whites and make those a little more blue. So if we push this, you can kind of see how we could do that. So that's that's one way. Or you could reverse it, and make the whites maybe a little bit more yellow and the blacks a little bit more blue. I think actually this uh, feels a little more rich to me. So let's just view it with and without this grade that we've added. So you can see it's a pretty subtle difference, but it just adds, you know, a little extra dimension of control that you have over the mood of the shot. And again, it is just one of those little things you kind of can add at the at the very end just to just to try out some different looks. And it's an easy thing that, you know, you could do a few screen grabs, try out a few different ones um, with different screen grabs, and then pick which one you like based on the mood that you're going for. So that's about wraps it up for our introduction to Nuke for After Effects users. Thank you so much for watching and good luck in using Nuke on your own.